we are going to talk about the differences between the two main figures behind of the Grenada Revolution, Maurice Bishop and Bernard Code. We will first start with looking at the differences between the two gentlemen and then get into some of the similarities that they shared. Ensure to subscribe to our channel, Either Done in Grenada, if you are enjoying our content. Follow and like us on our social media pages, Island Learning Grenada on Facebook and Instagram. So let's look at Maurice Bishop and Bernard Code. So Maurice Bishop, he was born in Aruba. He was born to Grenadian parents. And at a very tender age, he uh, migrated back to the homeland of his parents, Grenada. He was actually born in the ABC Islands, or which would be Aruba, Bonnet, and Curacao, in particular Aruba. And it is believed that around age six or seven, he returned to Grenada with his parents, and they resided in Springs in St. George's. So the Bishop family, his mother was Alimenta Bishop, and Rupert Bishop was his father. So they came back to Grenada from Aruba, and uh, Maurice Bishop and his siblings grew up in Springs in St. George's. Just a little bit more history about Grenadians in Aruba. So during the period of the oil boom, many Grenadians left Grenada and went to Aruba to look for work and to earn monies for their families. That was a common migration stream between Grenada and Aruba. Uh, the Prime Minister at the time, Sir Eric Matugiri, himself had lived in Aruba for many years as a young adult working there in the oil industry. So that's a bit of context about the times and Grenadians living in Aruba. So Maurice Bishop, he returned to Grenada. Uh, he completed a primary school and went on to the Presentation Brothers College, where he attended secondary school. At PBC, he was very much engaged in the life of the school, uh, being that uh, debating club and debating was one of his passions. Uh, so he attended PBC. So he's a PBC old boy. Um, one of the boys on the hill, uh, that who was the Morris Bishop, his, his, his early years. Bernard Code, on the other hand, he was born in Grenada. He was born in Grenada to Grenadian parents. He came from the smallest parish of Grenada, that is St. Max. So he grew up in Victoria in St. Max. So he's what we would call a country boy, uh, and Maurice Bishop was a tongue boy, right? So that, that's, a, that's a main difference, tongue and country, which is something that we always speak about in Grenadian parlance and in Grenadian collo colloquialism. So Bernard Cody grew up in Victoria, uh, and he went on to the GBSS for secondary school. So again, in Grenadian um Society, GBSS, and PBC are rivals in terms of secondary schools. Uh, PBC is, is one of the premier secondary schools for boys, as well as GBSS also hold, holds its own accolades in terms of being a premier learning institution for boys. So they uh, attended rival schools. Morris Bishop, PBC, and Bernard Code went to GBSS are located at Tantine in St. George's. What else about the differences between Maurice Bishop and Bernard Code? So Maurice Bishop, upon completion of secondary school, um, he worked for a little and then eventually migrated to uh, London uh, to study to become a lawyer. So he attended um, two schools in the UK, one being the University of London 
and the next one of the school in Glasgow, where he studied to become a lawyer. Personality-wise, he was well known to be a very charismatic individual and had a great personality and was really seen as a people leader. He was a people person, well-known and well-loved by all those who he uh, encountered and met. Uh, he would go on to serve as the Prime Minister of Grenada from 1979 to 1983. Uh, he lived in London for a few years and then eventually migrated back to Grenada in 1973 and entered into the political life of Grenada, first as leader of the opposition and eventually making himself as the first Prime Minister under the revolutionary government of the New Jewel Movement, or NGM. Bernard Code, on the other hand, he, after completion of his secondary school, uh, he taught for a little bit, and then he made his way to the United States and studied to become an economist. A little more historical context, uh, it was very common at the time for many aspiring uh, young Grenadians to migrate to pursue their uh, higher education or further education during the 1970s and into the early 1980s. So it was very common that intellectual minds uh, look to overseas to get their formal education at the tertiary or university level. And Maurice Bishop and Bernard Code are examples of such intellectuals who did exactly that. Bernard Code, he studied economics, uh, economics and became an economist. Uh, he was throughout the revolutionary period and even before that, he was very highly organized and seen as very disciplined. Uh, it is believed that he was the brainchild behind of the whole revolution, a lot of the ideas and vision for the work that was done during the Grenada Revolution from 1979 to 1983 actually came from Bonacode. Uh, so he was the real intellectual mind or brainchild behind a lot of initiatives and projects undertaken during the 1979 to 1983 period. As part of the People's Revolutionary Government, Bernard Code served as Deputy Prime Minister to Maurice Bishop. He served as Deputy Prime Minister from 1979 uh, right up to September 1983. He ha also held the portfolio of uh, Minister of Finance and Minister Responsible for Planning and Economic Development. So he was strong on the economic side, the finance side, the budgeting side, the planning side. So Bonal Code is accredited with being the minister who um, led um, the introduction of planning across ministries in Grenada, that ministries must have a plan and develop a plan for the action initiatives and uh, projects that they would work on. So Bonat Code is uh, accredited for, for that contribution to governance uh, in government. So just a quick, can you spot Maurice Bishop and Bernard Code in this picture? Um, so can you spot who is Maurice Bishop and Bernard Code in this picture? So in many in the early years, they attended many meetings together, both uh, local meetings and some of the uh, more regional meetings they would have attended together in their role as a uh, prime minister and Deputy Prime Minister, respectively. So Maurice Bishop is, of course, this gentleman right here is Maurice Bishop. And on the outside here is uh, Bernard Code, right, attending this meeting here. 
together. So these are the, 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 the two main figureheads, Morris Bishop and Bernard Code. So some of their similarities are what they shared in common. Um, of course, uh, they worked closely together. So of course, they would have had to have some things in common. Uh, so Morris Bishop and Bernard Code both were born in the year 1944. So you can see that 1944 was a great year to be born if you wanted to become a leader in some way uh, uh, to be part of the uh, Grenada Revolution. So they were both born in 1944. Morris Bishop was born in May, May 29th, 1944 is his birthday. And Bernard Code was born in August of the same year, 1944. Right, so under two different uh, signs, um, but born in the same year, 1944. They were childhood friends, so they met as young boys going to secondary school. Both were heavily involved in debating. Morris Bishop actually formed and led a debating group that often met. Um, in the market square and would have public debates as a secondary school student. So they were both had that deep interest and passion for debate and that connected the two of them together as childhood friends during their secondary school years at PBC and GBSS respectively. They both showed very early interest in politics and were involved, actively involved in the life of their school, both through debating as well as other clubs uh, within their school system. They were both enthusiasts for socialism as their political ideology, and they studied Marxist theory together. So before both of them, when they separate ways, one to uh, Morris Bishop to the UK to pursue law and Bernard Code to the US to, econom to study economics, uh, they would meet regularly and discuss and study Marxist theory together. So they both held similar views about socialism and how the in role of the state and how government should be run from a socialism perspective. They both spent time in London. Uh, Maurice Bishop, of course, he studied there and lived there for a few years. Uh, so he had deeper roots and ties to London. But Bernard Code also visited London too in his early years as a young adult. Um, both of them eventually made their way back to Grenada from studies. Uh, Maurice Bishop came back in 1973 and immediately entered into politics. He formed his own um, political organization, uh, Movement of Assemblies of People, MAP, which would eventually would merge with the group led by uh, Unison Whiteman, which was the Jewel Movement. And together, these two groups would form the NJM or the New Jewel Movement. Bernard Code, he went on to become a university lecturer, lecturing at the UE campus in uh, St. Augustine in Trinidad. So he left studies in the US and uh, went down to Trinidad and was a full-time lecturer there at the UE campus in Trinidad and eventually made his way to back to Grenada in the year 1976, which was the first year in which uh, elections was held post-independence. So Grenada achieved independence on February 7th, 1974, and Maurice Bishop, um, Bernard Court, sorry, uh, returned to Grenada in that same year, 1976, the year of the first election post-independence. So both gentlemen overall were very well-educated 
individuals. Maurice Bishop being a lawyer and Bernard Code being an economist. So together, the, the combined education and background uh, created this uh, unison needed to propel the People's Revolutionary Government in its formative years and also in the years of implementation of the uh, revolutionary uh, programs and initiatives from 1979 until its demise in October 1983. So here's a picture of the two gentlemen, um, Bernard Code and Maurice Bishop. Maurice Bishop at the very top here and Bernard Code in the bottom there. So that's a little snapshot in terms of the uh, differences and similarities between the two main figures of the Grenada Revolution, Maurice Bishop, who was the political leader and the prime minister from the period 1979 to 1983, and Bernard Code, his second in command, who served as the uh, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for uh, Finance, Planning and Economic Development from 1979 to September 1983. If you found this video informative, please leave a comment. Thank you very much for tuning in. Ensure to subscribe to our channel, Island Learning Grenada, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time we premiere a live video here, another snippet into Grenada's rich history, heritage, and culture. I'm your host, Crystal Simeon, and thank you for taking the time to view this video. Thank you. Bye.